What's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here. Guitarjams.com. Here it is. If uh, conceptually we see the root here on the high, high E, okay? And then we're going to take our ring finger and I'm going to put it uh, on the fifth fret of the B string. And those are the only two strings we're going to be strumming for this whole concept. Okay? So that works over a G major chord. So. Um, it doesn't really, when you do that, even though you have the root on top there, it doesn't feel like it's a resolved G when you play that double stop. But I'll show you what I mean. We're going to do that. Then we're going to go up a whole step. Same exact thing. Okay. So now we're going to do something pretty cool because uh, it's the first shape again. So I'm going to slide my ring finger up to the 10th fret on the B string. Now my index finger is going to go on the 8th fret of the high E. And then I'm going to move that up a whole step. And that's all I'm going to show you for this concept. Because what it enables any G chord, because G chords fit in different keys. And so if I went below or above that, it's going to dictate actually what special scale I'm using. But these are in all the scales that fit over the major chord. So once again, we've got a, a G major chord. And then I've got uh, index on the third, ring finger on the fifth of the B. Same thing up a whole step. Ring finger up a half step, middle finger on the seventh fret of the high E. Ring finger up a whole step, index finger on the eighth fret of the high E. And then up a whole step again. So if anyone's ever seen my land of A7, this is kind of like, you could almost consider these little double stops the land of G major. It's going to work um, if one guitar player is playing a G major chord. 